Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and this video is going to be a veritable cornucopia of complete and utter nonsense pertaining to XRP. And look, there are just some people that you shouldn't trust, and who I don't think it makes sense to listen to. And this is the video where I'm going to highlight just a few of those examples. There's no shortage. There's no shortage. But I'm going to highlight just a few of the ones that made me lull, laugh out loud, the very most. But before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind, I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say, right? I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby, <laughs> and just for fun. Now, I, I want to be very clear at the outset, okay? Because sometimes when you challenge somebody's ideas... Uh, in the world of crypto, it's specifically in the XRP community, there are uh, actual idiots out there who will say that you are the crypto police. Blah, 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 blah. And that's what they sound like in my head when I read their stupid crap on the internet. You're the crypto police. No, 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 blah, blah, blah. shut the hell up. Let me, let me explain. Uh, definitely not the crypto police. To be clear, I, I, <laughs> I don't want to silence anybody. I really don't. I, I'm a big fan of free speech. And I, I will tell you this. Um... <laughs> If, if somebody is saying truly disgusting, vile things that I, like the ideas of which and the utterances of such, I would find just repulsive, so repugnant. Like, I want them to be able to say that publicly so that if I see it, I know to either A, disassociate if I have associated, or B, make sure I don't associate if I've never done so in the first place. That, like, th see, what you got to understand is this is the reason that free speech is the solution and not something that's dangerous. People can sort this stuff out on their own. We can figure out. If people are saying kooky, nonsense, loony stuff, I don't need to be protected from the ideas. No, I want to hear them because I can come to my own rational conclusion. And if people are saying disgusting, vile, despicable things, just broadly speaking, I can, I can figure that out. I can kind of, I can sniff that out. And I'm willing to bet that you guys can too. You don't need to be protected from the whatever the, the quote-unquote bad ideas are, right? You don't need to. So, so again, to the contrary, I want, I want people to make themselves known who they are publicly. I want them to. Because the tiny portion of humans that would be okay with such repugnant things, let them associate together. Let's not be around them, but let them do their thing, because now we know. Now we know that we shouldn't trust them. And so it's the same concept here. I don't want anybody to not be able to speak this nonsense crap about XRP, whether it's alleged profits, which, by the way, that's a real thing. We have two, I've, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm reporting in this video on nonsense from two alleged profits asserting that XRP, it looks like number go up, way big. Uh, and another guy that's saying, hey, XRP, $10,000. Oh my God. I, but I want them to be able to say it. I just want to discourage them from saying ridiculous stuff because I should be able to say, like, they're going to say that BS. I get to say my opinion too. I get to respond to it. I get to offer a critique. And if it's batshit crazy, I deserve to be able to, 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 to identify it as batshit crazy. 100% I do. It's not that I don't want them to be able to say their nonsense crap. I, I want to say my opinion, and if I can intellectually persuade them to stop saying publicly stupid things, uh, that would be great. But if they want to keep saying it, of course. There, there's no desire to stop them. Uh, literally, and I don't have the power to do so anyway, which is why the whole, you know, the crypto police claim, it is stupid AF. That's the biggest bunch of nonsense crap. Uh, but yes, I'm going to challenge BS ideas. You better believe that. Which brings us to the first case here. Levi, Crypto Crusaders. He has a pretty large following here. 116,600 followers. Do you see the post on your screen? You, well, some of you are driving probably. Hands on the wheels at 10 and 2, motorist. Lest ye crash into an animal like a fish. We don't got no damn time for that. But here's what he said. I'll read it to you. Don't worry. Don't worry, motorist. He says, breaking. Ripple could be forced to burn 50 billion XRP in escrow. This would catapult the price to $10,000 immediately. How, how, how does this happen? This has been seen. The reason I'm highlighting this, this has been seen 285,000 times. Do you know that in a month, during times when we're not experiencing crypto euphoria, just as like a fun comparison, I probably get about a million views on my videos collectively in a month. And I understand that this doesn't mean that there's, this is, it's different than videos. It's a different, you know, medium, if you will. Okay. That's a lot of eyeballs on this thing. 285,000 views. 
What in the ever-loving hell? Now, I know most of you, without me having to explain why, understand this is absurd. And you understand that what's most likely here is this guy does know better, and he's just, you know, he's just farming for some uh, exposure. You know, he's, 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 he wants you to click the heart because you want XRP to number go up. And, but you can look at some of the replies. Like, they're, they're not good for him. I mean, here you can see this guy's source. Trust me, bro, question mark. James Rule XRP shared this Simpson quote. That's a damn lie and you know it, which made me laugh. That's good. Uh, Micah XRP wrote, delete this tweet and delete your X account. This is effing embarrassing, bro. Well, I mean, can you blame these people? And this is why, again, you deserve to be able to say whatever you want publicly. I'm all for it. But you got to understand, you're going to have to deal with people sharing their honest opinions in response to that. That's the other side of the coin. That's just how it works. I say what I think publicly, and people can scream at me and tell me I'm wrong. And they do. They, they do. And I, I want them to be able to, of course. Um, XRP Yoda wrote, I'm censoring it here, BS. Uh, here's another one. This guy wrote, uh, Cypress Domenico, wrote, uh, how the heck do you have 100,000 followers posting stuff like this? Posts like this should be banned. This isn't free speech. This is straight up lie. And I don't think it should be banned. I want, like, I already said my piece on that. I do not want that to be banned. I understand why some people th say stuff like that, but think through it further. We don't want these people to be in the, to these people to be in the shadows. We want them to expose themselves. If they're going to say stuff that very clearly they cannot possibly believe, I want them to be exposed as people who are willing to publicly lie so that I know. And then I know I can't trust them. That's useful for me. I want them to be able to do that. Of course I do. That's good for me to know that. If he couldn't say stuff like this, I wouldn't know that he's not a trustworthy person. Isn't that great? Now we all know that? Yes. Absolutely. And then so you go down and down and down. It's, it's like 100% of people saying similar stuff like this guy wrote, your crypto meme guy. Your post is like this space. Useless. Blocking you now. And you, you just have to look at your screen if you want to see this. But this little portion of a house that, like, what could you functionally do with that? That's a useless part of a house. That's a bad design. And it says your post is just as useless. Do I even need to explain why this is stupid? I mean, you can go back to like Stellar. By the way, so Stellar, back in 2019, destroyed half of the supply. Um, technically, it went up like 15%, but I think that was based on excitement. And then it just went back down. It didn't, it didn't functionally matter. Uh, and that shouldn't be surprising because understand it didn't change the amount of Stellar Lumens that was in circulation. It didn't change the amount that was available for purchase on exchange. The supply-demand dynamics did not change. So, I mean, yes, if you look at the, the implications over a span of decades, if it's going to last that long, okay. Then, yeah, if there's way less, then sure. But does it have some sort of immediate impact? No! $10,000? What in the ever... What in the fresh hell is this? That is the most absurd freaking thing you could possibly write. You know, I shouldn't say that. He could probably come up with something worse. I... I it's... I, <laughs> $10,000? And immediately? It just happens? Like, you snap a finger, oh, there it is. You know, it's been, been at 60 cents for a hot, a hot minute here. Ranging from anywhere from, you know, 10 cents to $2 for the last six and a half years. But, hey, this happens. And, you know, it didn't do anything for Stellar. And it didn't change the supply dynamic, the supply demand dynamics. And it wouldn't here either. But it would just go to $10,000. Because reasons, oh, okay. A hundred and sixteen thousand followers. A hundred and sixteen thousand followers. And I don't blame him. I noticed that once I reposted this with a few laughy emojis, he stopped following me. Fine. <laughs> Not a problem. And so there's this post, because <laughs> you gotta love Crypto Eddie. I'm, I'm a huge fan. She hates this crap just as much as I do. And so she tagged Elon Musk. She shared a screen grab. And she, he, she wrote, hi, Elon, we need to introduce an additional category to accurately address the growing issue on this platform. This isn't a matter of free speech. It's about the deliberate dissemination of misinformation. The absence of credible sources and the use of extreme hyperbolic messages pose significant risks to investors. Um, I only partly agree with this. So um, if you're stupid enough to believe this stuff, that's on you. Like, I, I think that there's such a thing as personal responsibility. Um now, I don't want people to be led astray, so that's why... But see, that's the usefulness of, of free speech. If you listen to enough people, you can kind of figure out. Like, even if you don't know, because you say you're new to crypto, and you think, whoa, maybe there is something to it. You've got 116,000 followers. 
but, but then if you listen to enough people and then you can learn more and see why it's completely absurd to think such a thing, there's that. Um, and, and then as, as far as getting, I get the heart of the message and this is where I agree. I think that it makes sense that you'd want to have some sort of correction if somebody is blatantly lying with a massive font. I get that. Um, and I think that's where community notes comes in. Unfortunately, I just, I don't see it significantly applied in, it, it, like in the community. And so I don't know exactly what the parameters are, but there should be a community notes thing right here explaining why this is absurd so that people stop saying stuff that they know isn't true. That's what I think. Because I want people to stop saying things that they know aren't true. Just engagement farm. That's what this is. Um, and so I, I think that would be a big fix. Like I think that goes a long way, honestly. Because if you keep posting a bunch of nonsense and then the community just like, yeah, but no, here's here's the reason it doesn't make sense. Like, I think that would go a long way. But I don't want people to not be able to say this stuff, even if they want to lie. I, and I, I said my piece on that as to why. I want people to be able to lie. I, I do. I don't think they should lie. I don't want them to lie. I want them to be able to so I can learn about them. I do want that. 100% I want that. And plus on top of that, even if you do want to try and diminish the type of thing, that people can say, that's a slippery slope. Because you start doing that stuff, and it's like, okay, but who's in charge of saying what is and isn't a lie? And would that give them power if they can manipulate? Like, mm -mm. You, you don't want to go down that. Don't open that can of worms. But, so I, I, I get the heart of her, of Crypto Eddie's message, and totally respect it. I, I just, but I, I think this is the solution. We talk about it. I mean, I just showed you a bunch of, I think you could go down further. These replies are people laughing at this guy. Don't lie. Like, just how about that? Just don't lie. And then we have the prophets. Oh, Lord. New prophecy touts XRP as prime investment. And I got to tell you, so this is hilarious to me. I came across a separate, quote unquote, prophet <laughs> predicting like an outrageous, that XRP is just gonna outrageously going to perform. And so I came across this headline. I was like, oh, it's going to be about that guy. And then I, <laughs> lo and behold, I read through this and no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I kid you not. There's a different prophet saying crap. It's, there's wait by but Jesus this is completely absurd here. So, so check this one out first. Recently, crypto community members unearthed a prophecy suggesting XRP could be a valuable investment opportunity. The supposed XRP prophecy came from Kim Clement, an acclaimed prophet and songwriter. Of course, wow, you got to get the sweet vibes with the music, right? According to those sharing the video, Clement originally commented in 2011, which predates even XRP's existence. Oh my God, why is this being propagated? And so there was a video clip, and I'll just, I'll just spare you the rest of this. I don't need to read the whole thing. The guy's like, I see an, an X, and I see a P, and there's a value attached. Oh, my God. Stop. Just stop it with the nonsense. How are some people so freaking gullible? It's, it's just like, it's like the people that think that you know, those scammers out there who pretend like they can reach into like the afterlife and let you talk through them to like your, your dead relatives. It's like that. Some people are gullible enough and they have a way of asking questions to fish for information to sufficiently trick you. So they're good at what their lie is, their whole scam thing. But my God, some people are like just primed to believe this crap here. And so then there was this one. Here's the second quote unquote prophet Dear sweet baby Jesus. And this was shared by somebody named Brett. Boom! Prophet predicts XRP to skyrocket overnight. Now, the reason people are even listening to this guy is because he has a bunch of other lies about unrelated things that some people think have come to pass. Now, ignore all the stuff he said that hasn't come to pass and has been provably incorrect 100%. Uh, but then there's this one thing that's in a way, a tiny part of it correct, and now he's trustworthy. You know, it's just, it's it, it, that, and that is actually what's happening here. And so this guy allegedly foresaw the attack on former President Trump. And uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's on your screen right now, what he's talking about, right? And he declared that XRP will moon overnight. The same guy, and this is true, this guy, this guy that, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. So, a couple things on this. this. This is a fake prophet. This is not a human that can just see things that you can't see. This is a lying human 
There is no science to support that some humans have some sort of ideas of the future magically transplanted into their brain. Stop being gullible. Stop it. So this fake prophet right here. <sighs> it's amazing. Why do I even have to talk about this? So the, the fake prophet said in regards to the attack on the former president, in his video, and by the way, this does, it did predate the attack. It was back in, I think, March. So it predated the attack. Okay, okay. But he said that there would be an attack, and fine, there was. But uh, you know, the fake prophet said that the bullet would not, would not strike him. That's not true. It did, though. And we know it did. And that's provably true. He also said that, and this is another thing he got wrong, he also said that the bullet, which would come close, it would bust his eardrum because it was so close. Just the sound of it whizzing by, it would be so harmful, it was going to bust the eardrum. But that also didn't happen. So there's two things right there that didn't happen in the cliff, in the clip that people think are just pure magic. Right? So he was wrong. He was wrong about that. Those are two things. He also said that uh, the former president would become radically reborn in religious regards, right? There's no evidence of this either. So there's three things he's wrong. So clearly his prophecy was incorrect on multiple points. The only thing he got right was that there would be an attempt on his existence. The attack, right? He got that right. But, uh, sorry guys, like, <laughs> even Tucker Carlson predicted that. He did. And let me assure you, Tucker is not a prophet. Nor does he claim to be one, so that's different. That was something that was foreseeable by multiple people. And so he added a bunch of other details, and none of the rest of it came to pass. But oh my god, he got the one thing that a bunch of other people said who also aren't prophets. Oh my god. But he claims to be a prophet, so we believe that he magically had ideas transplanted into his brain from some sort of data because reasons. Stop being gullible. Stop it. And so when I saw that he's he was then prophesizing about the future of XRP. My God, I laughed hysterically. I reposted this thing and I just wrote, this cracks me up. And it really did. By the way, I, I laughed hysterically. I rather enjoyed this. I truly did. Which is why I wanted to highlight it in this video so you could enjoy knowing of this as well. And I wrote, the Riddlers are bad enough, but now we have an XRP prophet, in quotes, to get us all amped up. This is a new low. And oh, yes, indeed it is. Oh my God, this guy. This guy's not a prophet. You know what he is? He's a liar. He wants attention and he's a liar. That is what this is. Don't believe people that say this crap. And he's, he's, and he's so provably wrong on multiple points on the one thing that he's now famous for. Are you kidding me? Use your freaking brains. You know that thing between your two ears? Use it. On the bright side, though, it is funny. Now, again, I don't want any of these people to be silenced. No, 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 no. Scream your lies from the rooftop so I know that you are not somebody I should trust and someone I don't want in my life. Please keep doing it. Because that is telling the rest of the public all we need to know about you. That is why there should always be free speech. I want that. I want that to be known. So... I say, don't actually listen to these people in terms of, you know, don't trust them. That is different than me saying, and I'm not saying, that would be different than saying they should be silenced. I do not believe that. No, 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 no. I'm saying it doesn't make sense for you to listen to them, and you're smart, so you get to make your own decision on whether or not I'm right. If you think this guy has magical ideas about XRP transplanted into his brain, okay. I, I, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know what to do. Like... I, like, sometimes I don't know what to do with my hands, right? I'm like, socially awkward. I don't know what to do with my hands, right? You're on a different level. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you if you actually think that there's even a small chance that there's something to this guy. And you know what's funny about this is I'm not even saying he's wrong. I think XRP is going to rock it, too. He's just claiming to have some sort of special foresight, it's so absurd. It's just like, it It insults my intelligence. The fact that there are market cycles and cryptocurrencies take off, and then he said this one thing about this, oh my God, and then when it does happen, it came to pass. Shut the hell up. No, 
No, no. Wait, I ain't playing this. I ain't playing this game. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You go play that game somewhere else. Hell no. <laughs> Not a freaking chance here. So I say don't listen to them. That's my suggestion. But if you think they're trustworthy, then go ahead and listen to them. You do you. Do you. That's the beautiful thing about us being adults and having that freedom. That's the beautiful thing. I'll get off the soapbox now. I don't want to, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. How is this real life? I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.